I have family there, they're telling us what's going and on. And what are they telling you? They are telling us that they've been targeted being the minority. If you are not with targeted them... Targeted by whom? By the rebels. They come in. You see, I come from Homs, from the same city the doctor comes from. We, uh, the area that I know, this, I mean, Mother Agnes was here. She said that 80,000 Christians were forced out of um, Homs. So uh, other... Uh, it yeah. is true, it's and Mother... I am from Homs. I'm sorry, can I, I finish what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, just let her finish what she's saying. I'll come to you in a minute, let her finish what she's saying. Yes, and she, when she came, she was in Australia and she was interviewed. She said, and I know a lot of people, we have Christians here, they can tell you their stories as well. They have families that have been killed. We have people that have been beheaded. And this is their slogan, if you're not with us, you are to be beheaded. But why, if they want to fight a government, why don't they go and fight them in a place where there's no civilians? If they care about the people of Syria and they care about civilians, why use them as a human shield? Why force the people outside their houses and use their house? Is that how you fight? I think this whole debate is ignoring the main point here, which is that the rebel uprising or the democratic uprising is not that. It's a Muslim Brotherhood uprising. The Muslim Brotherhood was the main opposition group in Syria for the last 40 years and they are the ones that want to remove the uh, secular <coughs> government yeah. and I'm not a government supporter I, I am for the reform process just like the majority of the Syrian people but the yeah, fact yeah. is but let before you let interrupt me sir <coughs> the fact is it is the American and NATO governments and Israel that are funding these Al Qaeda terrorists and Muslim Brotherhood extremists and that is the point that everybody here is missing <laughs> and the fact is that excuse me sir but you do have a stake in Syria because we have Russia emerging as a superpower and you have China emerging as a superpower and you want and America and NATO want to control the Mediterranean Sea they want to cut off this new pipeline deal that is happening between Syria Iraq and Iran they want to cut off ties between Syria and Iran, which is why these people hate Iran so much. And this is why these sectarians are against any unity between Syria and Iran, because they want to see Syria get destroyed. And that is what this is about, okay. destroying okay. Syria. Fine. Mimi, what sort of government do you want? Of course, I would like uh, to see a government that has less corruption, but also maintains our foreign policy, which is of the utmost importance, because we have an imperialist, Zionist entity right next door to us, Israel, which is funded by NATO, and the whole crisis is being created by our enemies, Israel, NATO, America. Okay, can I just country. ask you though, do you want Assad to survive? Right now, Assad has to survive because his replacement is going to be Islamic extremists, the Muslim Brotherhood, but do and you Zionist want, puppets. But do you want him to survive? I want him to survive for now. But do you but do you want him to run Syria? I want him is to he the is he the person you want running I want your to country? Run Syria eventually. <laughs> okay? So you right want to. now I see that the fall of the Assad regime would be a disaster for my country. Okay, final comment from you, yes, Hanadi. Um, I just want to say we're not Assadi regime supporters. We are Syrians. Therefore, we've seen the uprise in the Middle East, we've seen that so called um, uh, Islamic a brotherhood uprising and the proof is in Egypt the leader now is a brotherhood extremist in Tunisia the leader is a brotherhood extremist in um, where else Libya Tunisia and Egypt this is what concerns us we want Syria to stay secular we've lived there I've lived there for eight years myself everybody practiced his religion freely we've all had free education we've We've had it all. What is it they want? I want a reform. We all want reforms. We do know every country has corruptions. We want that to go. However, we don't want extremists to come and run our country. That's all we're saying.